hey guys it's me Talha. so i recently came across this cool looking shop from design online and i thought it would be cool to do a tutorial on how to create a similar shape in revit before we dive in i recommend checking out my advanced 3d modeling courses on learnrevitonline.com if you find this video helpful you can also support my work on patreon and help me keep creating new content every week anyway let's get started here I'm in Revit and first uh, let's create a basic shop here. So first I'm going to create a storefront. Let's create an angled uh, storefront here, 6 feet. And then I'm going to create another 15 feet. And here again we'll create a 6 feet storefront. Now I'm just going to press escape and select a generic wall from here. Let's select this 8 inches generic and we'll create a 6 feet wall and just continue this around 25 feet maybe. I just press escape and create a 6 feet wall here and then just close this. Now let's select all of these walls and just make sure the height of these walls is uh, 20 feet. Perfect. Let's go to the uh, front elevation here. Now here I'm just going to add a door. So we need to load a new door family. Just go to insert load family. And here let's go to the doors folder. Here we have it. And I'm just going to load a double door to front. Just open this up. And then we can just simply tap select this panel. If it doesn't work, make sure you have the select uh, pinned elements option is on just click here now we can easily select this panel by pressing tab key and then we first need to unpin it and select the door from this drop down perfect let's tab select this mullion and unpin it and delete so we go to our door here as well now to create such shape we need to use in place mass so let's go to massing inside and first click show mass button and then click in place mass just click OK and here we'll first create uh, reference planes. So let's go back to the top view here and I'm just going to select reference plane. And we'll create a reference plane uh, on this uh, storefront here. And we'll create another one. Let's select this one, make it three feet. Perfect. Now we can select this one and name it one and this should be reference plane 2 and let's go back to the front elevation and we can uh, start adding the point elements so let's go here select point element and once you click on that you'll get this dialog box here you need to select reference plane 1 click ok and make sure draw on work plane is selected and we can start uh, placing the points and the first one let's place here and another one here and then i'm just going to add a couple of these here and two at the bottom let's place another one here in the middle of this uh, of this mullion another one here and as you can see we're already getting this kind of uh, shape here now we need to add one more here another one here and then we can just uh, create a dimension di we can create from this uh, edge of this mullion to this point and let's select this point and change the distance to one foot let's delete this dimension okay repeat that here as well di for dimension and hit tab key to select this edge and then create uh, dimension select this point and just make it one foot so we have equal distance between uh, these points here now if i go to 3d you see we have these points showing up here now we need to copy these two points so i'm just going to select both of these and then click here copy to clipboard and paste align to same place and we get this warning just ignore that now with these two selected we can just simply change the host 
uh, of these two points let's place them on reference plane 2 there we go record these two on the on the reference plane 2 which we created earlier so our points are now ready we just need to connect these points for that we can either use reference line or model line i prefer using this so let's select model line to snap these points we need to keep this 3d snapping checked just click on it then we can select draw on face and now we can easily snap this point element just zoom in and snap this point and just connect uh, with this one and then this one and we'll just simply join that here then we want to connect that here and then here and let's just connect with this one then here then we just connect that here just connect these two points so it's looking something like this let's quickly repeat that with these points as well we just need to connect them So we have connected all these points. Now we can simply select these three, uh, these three lines here, and just create a form. You get these two options. Just select the flat one. There we go. If I change the visual style to shaded, we'll be able to see this form created here. So let's quickly repeat uh, the same on the other faces here as well. We'll just change the visual style to hidden line again hl and let's select these four of these lines here hit tab key to select this one and this create form select the flat one So once you finish creating these faces, we can go ahead and close the massing environment. Just click here, finish mass, and just ignore this warning. Now you can either use roof by face or wall by face to create, uh, to convert this form into solid geometry. So I think in this case, we need to use both of these because roof by face works with the angled or this kind of uh, angled shapes. For the vertical one we we need to use wall by face because roof by face doesn't work with the vertical faces so let's quickly do that just go to architecture and first let's select wall by face and click edit type duplicate i'm just going to create a one inch uh, wall here let's put that here one inch and click OK OK again now we can simply select this face there we go and let's select all of these faces as I said for the flat ones we need to use roof by face as you can see I cannot pick this face here so let's press escape and go here select roof by face from this drop down i already have a one one inch roof created so i will just pick this face here and for the roof we need to click create roof after uh, selecting the face just click here there we go now i think for this one we need to change the face location just select the roof and we'll get this option face location we can change the faces at the bottom of the roof there we go and for these walls also i think we need to change the location line of these walls as well just select finish face interior perfect here also we need to change the location line of these two walls as well 
perfect let's see that here here we have some issues with this edge here and for this one we can edit profile let's change the visual style to hidden line and select these two lines and just drag this point a little bit inside here perfect of course you can always hide mass by uh, clicking here show mass button in the massing and site tab and then press vg on the keyboard and hide mass from here as well just uncheck it click ok and there you have it so that's how easy it is to create this cool looking shop front design in revit that's it for this video i hope you have learned something new if you did make sure to like and share this video and consider checking out my advanced 3d modeling courses on learnrevitonline.com and if you found this video beneficial you can also support my work on patreon and help me continue making new videos every week once again thank you for your support and i will see you in the next one